of Cameron Park moms is upset tonight after attending a fundraiser for firefighters where an AR-15 rifle was the main raffle prize. I was devastated. I felt ill. I felt I, I couldn't stay and support the event any longer. They say the timing was insensitive after the Florida school shooting. CBS 13's Mark Thompson has more on this story from Cameron Park. Sharin, here outside the Cameron Park Community Center, you can see that the flag is still at half staff in honor of the victims of the Florida school shootings. That's one reason why a group of ladies was shocked to see what was being raffled off inside for the annual crab feed fundraiser for the fire department. An AR-15 single-shot rifle, a weapon similar to the one used in the deadly Florida school shooting attack, up for raffle at a Cameron Park firefighter fundraiser. It hadn't even been a week. Their families were still grieving, and we were um, seeing that same type of weapon being offered as a prize. I had no idea that they were going to be auctioning off military-style assault rifles. I would never have come and supported this event had I known. In fact, the ladies left the event, but not before confronting the fire chief. He listened and heard my feelings on it, and he apologized and said that he, he can see why it was insensitive of them to um, to be auctioning that off. The annual fundraiser is put on by the Cameron Park Firefighters Association, the money going to support the Explorer and Residence programs for CAL FIRE, the event popular officials say, with hunters and outdoorsmen in the area. The people involved are following the letter of the law. Do you think that there was maybe another solution for this year's raffle? Again, I can't address that at this time. It uh, happened on such short notice. The ladies say they have the utmost respect for the work of first responders, but in this case... In light of the events, it was um, really in poor taste. As a teacher and as a mom, and children deserve for us to speak up for them. In a military-style assault rifle as a prize, putting that out into our community... Um, Especially right now, it just, it was appalling. The ladies were given a refund for the money that they spent on their raffle tickets. Now, keep in mind that these rifles are auctioned off at this fundraiser each and every year, so this is not a new practice by any means. Fire officials say that those guns will first be taken to a gun shop for the waiting period and background check before they're turned over to the winners. Back to you. Mark Thompson and Cameron Park tonight. Mark, thank you.